Hi, I'm Andrea Combs, Tai Chi instructor. This is uh, one of four practice videos, uh, three Tai Chi forms at a time. And we'll be doing all 10 forms in these four lessons. So you can practice just three forms at a time. Go ahead and step out the hip width, loosen up a little bit, tuck the belly, and tuck the tailbone, soften the knees, let the arms be nice and loose and limp. Shakes the tension out of the shoulders. Lift the crown of the head and tuck the chin. Draw the shoulders back. Inhale and exhale. Nice and slow and full. Expanding the belly as if there's a ball inside. And then squeezing it out as you exhale. Feel the core muscles engage. And let your weight and awareness sink through the feet into the earth and the feet become stable and grounded. So, good posture includes lifting the crown of the head, tucking the chin, drawing the shoulders back gently and tucking the tailbone and belly. <clears throat> and so as you stand up out of that, you should feel that you're standing nice and tall and that your postural muscles are activated. So that's the little warm up for each of you. Hi, lesson three of four. Today uh, we're learning to grasp the sparrow's tail, followed by the first single whip. And grasp the sparrow's tail is done with a bow stance, and we rock on the feet, we glide our weight forward, and then back, and then forward and then back, and the second time we lift the front toe and then glide forward as we put the toe down. The arm work, we start with the ball, and it's almost like wild horses part the mane, except we're lifting the bottom arm as if there's a shield on that arm to protect us, and the top hand floats down, presses down by the hip. And then we sweep the hands out front, and that's called ward off. The same five parts. The second part is sweeping the hands out to the front corner and rotating the palms as if you're holding the ball. And this is called grasping the bird's tail or pull back for short. So pull the bird's tail down past the hips and out to shoulder height at the side. And now we're going to go to press. So we'll flip the hand over and touch the inside of the wrist, turn back to the front and press with the wrist crossed. One hand is palm forward, one hand is palm backward. Next part is row back, so flatten the hands, separate the palms, or drop the fingers so that you're, imagine, imagine you're pulling back on a big oar, and then just pull back from the, pull the, the uh, elbows back, and then push the oar down, and then push it up and out to shoulder height. And so we do that on each side as we glide our weight forward and backward. From that form, and that's all five of those are called grasp the sparrow's tail, ward off, pull back, press, row back, and push. So we follow that up with a single whip. So here we're gonna go to our hook hand. So turn the palm, uh, and pinch the thumb and fingers, and then sweep that palm down by the hip and up out to the side at shoulder height. And bring the other palm, uh, circle the other hand and palm across over by the elbow. But this time you want your palm facing you and you want to look at that palm. And now sweep that palm out in an arc out towards the other corner and then at the end, turn the palm out. And that's single whip. You want your shoulders nice and relaxed and dropped for this. And we'll do the footwork. So, from the last part of Grass the Sparrow's Tail, we're in that bow stance with our weight is forward. With the um, opposite hand, the hand that's opposite the front leg. Turn the palm and pinch the thumb and fingers 
and that's hook, that's called a hook. Bring the weight back as you sweep that arm low, and with the fingers down, lift you from the wrist out to shoulder height. And with the other palm, as you sweep it back and bring the other foot back, just resting on the ball of the foot with the heel lifted. And now you're standing on one leg and the hook hand is out by the supporting leg, looking at the other palm. We're gonna both step and lunge our weight forward as we circle that other palm and watch and then turn it outward at the end. And that's single whip. So, are you, you ready to put all those together? Uh, follow along. So if we grasp the sparrow's tail, we're gonna start where we left off at repulsing monkey. So the last part was holding the ball. Here are our weights on the right hand and the right hand on top of our ball and the left foot is close, left heel lifted. So we're going to both step left, toe down, and as you lunge your weight forward, press down with the left palm and let the right arm lift out front. Imagine that shield is on the arm. You can imagine there's a bird on the arm. Now arc the right hand across toward the left, front left corner, rotating the palms to hold the ball, and then bring your weight back, keeping the front toe on the ground. Sweep the hands low past the hip and out to shoulder height. And now we're going to press, so. Bring the inside of the wrist together and then turn to the front, lunge and press. And now flatten the hands and separate. Draw your weight back, row back from the elbows and the back muscles. Lifting the front toe slowly, press the floor down. And as you start to lunge your weight forward, put the toe down and push. And we'll go to the other side. So we're gonna twine left, Sweep the right hand under the ball. Bring your weight to the left, bring the right foot up. We'll do that on the other side. Both step right, toe down, start bringing your weight forward with the right arm coming out front, left palm pushing down by the waist or the hip. So that's ward off. Imagine there's a bird on the right arm. Sweep the left arm up, reaching for the ball out front right corner and then pull back. Imagine you're pulling on a peacock's tail, not a very long tail. Reach out to the left, and now we're going to ward off. Touch the inside of the wrist, and we're going to press. Lunge and press. Flatten and separate to row back. Slowly lift the toe. Use those back muscles to row back, and then slowly lower the toe as you push down and out. Now we'll go to single whip. So let's twine to the right as we bring that right foot hand down and out to the side and bring the left palm close, looking at the left palm. Both step left, lunge, and go to single whip. Okay. And that's the end of those three movements on that side. And now we're gonna do it on the other side so let's go to our left leg, left toe, twine, turn outward. Uh, let's start with the ball. So the left hand is <coughs> on top. Both step right, go to ward off. Remember, it's like a shield. Then sweep up and pull back, keeping the toe down. Touch the inside of the wrist, lunge and press. Separate the hands, row back, use the back muscles, lift the toe slowly, push the oar down. Slowly drop the toe and push the oar out. We'll go to the other side, twine. Sweep the left hand under the ball, bring your weight to the right. Bring the left foot up and both step left to the next ward off. Left hand coming up, left arm and right hand pressing down. Oops. Reach for the ball on the left, pull the back. Circle out to the side and then cross the inside of the wrist. Turn forward and press. Okay. Separate the palms, row back. And push. And now we'll go to single whip on that side. So make, turn the right 
let it calm in and make a hook can. Pinching the thumb and fingers together. As you twine left, sweep that left palm down and then bring it up out to the left shoulder height. Bring your right palm hand over by the elbow, palm facing you, and we're just posting on the right foot here. Bow step right, and watch the right palm arc out to the other side and turn the palm out. And shoulders relaxed and down, single lift. Small closing, inhale, exhale. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Go ahead and repeat as many times as you'd like. Turn off the volume if my voice is getting in the way. Thank you.